Ron Rhodes. Before we even get started, Ron, tell everyone out there who's going to watch this, how do they get in contact with you if they need help building, maintaining, tuning, whatever? Where, who do they call? Let's call the shop, 302-378-1701. Okay, so I, I live, no kidding, as the crow flies, maybe five miles away from this guy. I never see him in Delaware, never, ever. Always see him at a track somewhere around the nation. Uh, you know, never see him without his fire suit. So it's really good to see him relaxing here at PRI, interacting with all of his fans, all of his customers. Ron, it's really great to see you. First off, how's dad doing? Oh, he's awesome, doing great. Back at the shop, keeping everybody going. Okay, now how's Ronnie doing? He's doing great at the shop, keeping everything going. <laughs> now, I'm out here playing, you know? Now, dude, you had a great year, man. Tell us all about it. Yeah, now we hit we, we hit the first race, you know, hit the ground running. Uh, we laid down some very impressive numbers. Uh, we won several races this year. Um, the, the big one was a uh, Ducks race in the beginning, and uh, we ended up finishing up uh, second place in the uh, points series. Uh, we won the Cecil County Points Championship there. Yeah, that and, was uh, awesome, dude. Yeah, and we went up personal best, the 415. And, uh, you know, just I had a really good year, really good year. How do you top it off? I mean, just try to keep moving forward, just like we do every year. You know, you just keep chipping away at it, just take what we got and refine it and just try to find something here and there and just try to keep pace with everybody. Okay, so a uh, quick update on Delaware action. So we had a tornado last year roll through. So now you're fully recovered, right? I, yeah, every time I drive by the shop, looks a little better. It's got a newer roof. Trees are taken care of. Every, have you fully recovered? Yeah, yeah, we're all 100%. I mean, we, it took a while. That was a pretty scary deal, man. I've never witnessed anything like that before in my life. And uh, it was pretty scary and humbling at the same time. So, I mean, luckily, everybody was fine. Uh, the buildings, you know, they, they, they took some hits, but nothing was, like, you know, destroyed as far as, you know, anything of importance. And so you knew, you knew the question was going to come, right? You knew it was going to come. Why the shift to Holly? Man, I just, you know, got to keep up with the times. And uh, I just, you know, I kept looking at it, looking at it. And, um, you know, we've been talking for a, year, a couple years prior to it, honestly. And um, I finally had a customer, Mike Thompson. I built him a car. He was running a Holly. He was really happy with it. And he was, you know, willing to help me get get started with it. And because uh, it's, it's a little intimidating for especially, I consider myself the older generation in this deal now. And uh, I'm an old carburetor guy. Well, so when I made the switch, he was on board to help me get going. And uh, man, that's the best decision I ever made. I tell you, I'd, it's a it's a, it's a lot to take in at first and get it going. Um, you know, just getting all the boxes checked and uh, just getting everything sorted out. And man, once you get to the racetrack and it's all sorted out, and you make them first couple hits, man. I will tell you, it it's awesome. It's uh, it's honestly to tune it at the track. It's easier than a carburetor because you can just kind of make everything happy. Every cylinder happy during the whole pass of the run. It's pretty incredible. Yeah. And it's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the future. I mean, it just really is. You know, if you want to run up front, you know, it's kind of, we have to maximize every single thing. And with the fuel injection, you can do that. That's pretty amazing. But so now, a little more serious question now. We just lost, in our media world, we just lost Clarence Hannon. I'm dedicating this PRI show to Clarence Hannon and a good friend of mine, Jason Reese. So. Do you have anything to say to Jason right now? He couldn't make PRI. And so any words of motivation to get him over the hump and get him through this? Yeah, it's crazy, man. You like you just, you know, you sit there and talk to somebody one day and everything's great. And then, you know, the next day it's it's a totally different story. And it really opens your eyes up and, you know, makes you realize how fragile life is and you know how quick it can change. And I've known Jason for a long time and um, honestly, you know, I think he'll be fine. He's a strong guy, you know what I mean? And he'll he'll be fine. He'll, he'll, he'll get through it. He'll be fine. It's, uh, you know, got to be a fighter. You got to be a fighter, that's for sure. And this guy definitely is a fighter. And it's so nice to live right down the road from this guy. I wish I could see him more in Delaware. But, hey, I'll take it here in Indianapolis at the PRI show. So to wrap it up, Ron, we can't wait to see you do your thing in 2022. And we can't wait for you, Jason, to be there watching everything. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. No, man, thank you so much. Yep. I really appreciate that.